Right, we're joined by Paul Bastock. Paul, 3-2 win, and well, where do we start with that? I mean, dr dramatic afternoon. Started off this morning, didn't it, with that journey? <laughs> oh, my God. All the omens were against us, to be perfectly honest. Um, early morning start, and we get delayed, late kick-off. Pitch is heavy. Uh, the start, what we had, we uh, dominate the ball, but like, we just never... Uh, threatened really uh, and I, they, they was just doing a job of sitting deep and making sure and they was happy for us to have the ball um, I think last season with what again went against us today I don't think we would have got anything out of today but to the way the boys have committed and Gaffer throws that many different shapes at them and they, and they adjust and it, it's proved it's worth today we've come away with a, a great result What's the difference, do you think, you say last season that result would have probably gone against us, what do you think the difference is this season and the fact that you've come here and you've had to dig in and, and, and grind it out in the end, really? Belief in players, um, that you can't play on nice pitches every week and you're going to play against more physical teams. Uh, if you look at our losses last season, that was against teams what did that to us. Um, but like the belief in that squad, just uh, I keep saying it, it's a dresser room to die for. Ian's got them boys ticking, they're all working together with each other. I mean, uh, it just shows you that they don't give up, they just keep going and keep going, they, they, they just keep giving. They're a wonderful set of boys. How difficult was, was it to lift them before the game? Because I mean, that journey, it was a nightmare from hell, let's be honest. So, how, how difficult for you as coach and staff was it to lift them? It wasn't. The problem was, is we had 15 minutes to warm up. 20 minutes max. Well, you try and get Jarvis to warm up in 20 minutes. Um, you tell me, apart from the two goals, what other chances did they have today? And we gifted the second one, Rory, with a back pass to their centre forward. Um, we just we dominate the game. We play some good football, but in front of them. And then when obviously Gaffer's changed it, second half, uh, we've got Sam Kelly on and. Sonny and that load, we got more width to our play and we, we caused some problems. Then they was changing their system, and but it, it's just when things go against you, it shows you how them, them boys are prepared to dig in because like a lot of teams would have would have crumbled today. They were slowing the game, they was making it as slow and hard as they could make it and trying to kill the game, and that's normally hard to get your tempo back up. But fair play to the boys, they've uh, come away after a crappy day with a uh, three points and giving us a chance to go on Tuesday and go top, I think, if we win, don't we? Or point, point behind, I think point it might behind. be. Yeah. Point behind. I think um, Rory was also at fault for the first goal, but it's hard to criticise a lad like him because he has been magnificent this season, hasn't He's played he? a straight ball and we got done for. Um, but we still expect to defend it. Um, it's just one of those... I wouldn't want to be trying to pass him play football like our team does on there but they, they've done done really well you've seen how many times it's bubbled up off them and, and that's on both teams so fair play that they've stuck to our game plan and uh, played football and then setting off we obviously changed the system got it wide let's say put some great balls in the box so fair play happy days even in conditions like this you're not you're not going to change your philosophy are you playing it out from the back and playing football Ian's belief and it's it's, it's proved fruition at the moment and it's a joy to watch. I mean, I've had their supporters and some of their members of their board just say, oh, fantastic footballing team. And we have that said every week, but we can back it up now. We've got a bit of physical prowess now. We've got big Tom Ward back in there. He's done well in the air today. And we've got big Gashy up there. Um, it's time that's sending off uh, Southport away next week, lovely. Well, well, I mean, any complaints about sending off or... What, what, what even, were your thoughts? Even one of their people came up down and said the first one was never a booking and I didn't see what happened for the second because like, it was just a little melee he was trying to protect the ball and stuff like that so but uh, with officials you just don't know what you're going to get out it's like watching the X Factor I mean how much of a blow is that going to be obviously not having him for a big game like Southport Well I think we all know he's, he's a massive player for us but uh, gives someone the chance to come in and step in and uh, showcase their talents doesn't it I mean We've got goals in us all over the pitch, so just won't be having the big man to hit, will we? Yeah. And just a word on Adam Marriott again. I mean, I think that's seven now in four the last four games. He's, I mean, he just he's just a cool cookie, cool cookie, far too good for this level. Um, Level-headed lad, 
just gets on with his job and, and, and he loves his football club, he loves being with the lads. As I said, this dressing room, what Ian's got going in here is just magnificent, it's just good fun. I've, I've just walked out, there's Elvis Presley playing in there for Christ's sake. <laughs> Is that Gassy's choice or...? Oh, I would imagine so. He's, <laughs> he's the daddy. Yeah. And now you go again Tuesday night. I mean, the games keep coming thick and fast. Leamington, horrible, another horrible team to play against. They work hard, don't they? Very hard team, yeah. I mean, organised. Um, can play a bit as well. Uh, obviously, yeah, we'll get our reports back on them on the way home and what so forth. And uh, we'll be looking at lots of videos, but I'd imagine the gaffer's already got that all sorted. And... Uh, just pick the bodies up, get Jarvis' legs going and uh, regroup and back at the walks, haven't we? So just keep that run going. And obviously the fans, I mean, you, that's two on the bounce now, two games where you've twice come from behind to win. I mean, surely want a big crowd on Tuesday night, doesn't it, under the floodlights? Definitely the, the fans need to get uh, behind and support the, the gaffer and the, and the lads and, and the club if we're to, to go forward. We need Gates to, to give the chairman some pennies so we can... Uh, Keep adding additions. And it's, I mean, the surprise element has gone, we know that, but you're still producing the goods, aren't you? Still second. They gave us they gave us a hell of a lot of respect today. I mean, you can see the way they allowed us to have the ball, didn't press. Other teams like, have come and tried to press us and, and force mistakes. But no, it's uh, just an unbelievable result when the day we've had to come away now, because I'm thinking... When, they, when Rory gifted the second one, oh, this is going to be out of a long route time, but now it's going to be party bus. Yeah. And again, the camaraderie is just unbelievable, isn't it? On, 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 on and off the pitch. On and off the pitch. It's just, it's just a great football club with great people in it and everyone's pulling in the, direct, on the same direction and uh, who knows where this journey's going to take us. No, make no predictions, though, for the rest of the season? I think we might have just starting to get enough points to guarantee stay up that was our objective you just don't know I mean everyone's surprised by it we're surprised by it to a degree because we know we can play it's just can we keep it going can we keep that that momentum going and you're enjoying it as much as you did the first day you came love it gaffer's wonderful it's wonderful. Lads have won everything about it. I, I actually don't mind getting up early to come all the way to Bradford in this freezing, dour, dark place. But uh, to work with the gaffer and we have a good banter on the bus and that load of lads, good banter. And like learning so much from him. Just different shapes, tactics and just is a different level. I mean, do you still think there's room for improvement as well? It's hard to say when we're second, but... Yeah. Stop giving silly goals away, and then that's your room for improvement. We've got to start keeping more clean sheets. That's why we brought Big Tom in. I thought he did fair, he did well today. Um, I think everyone did well, to be honest. It was just what was killing us was we, we weren't passing with any pace and tempo in the first half, and they were happy to us passing play in front of them. But when we when we lifted it another gear, finally got into it, it was dangerous. Hard call perhaps on Ross Barris today because he's he's played well last year game. Magnificent, hasn't he? magnificent. But uh, you could see that there was a, phys, a big physical team. We needed, we needed, a, we needed power. We needed height. We needed it right across. And uh, Wardy stepped in and, and won his fair share of headers. So yeah, it's bad luck for Ross, but uh, he'll take it on the chin and uh, he'll get his chance. He'll get his chance, and we all know that he'll, he'll take it and, and and try and keep hold of it.